what's up everybody today I am going to make a video about I guess I want to call it uh, just a hair journey and how you can get through the stalls and the problems and it's just more so an encouragement video to help you guys get through your journey you know because we all have those moments where it's like what is my hair doing what's going on so I decided to make this video because at church I had an epiphany about it. I love going to my church, just sitting around, looking, seeing all the different hairstyles. I love it. If it's somebody natural, somebody got their weave all the way down their butt, you know, if that's you, that's you. But um, got the curly going. I love it. I love it. I love looking at people's their hair and different textures. I love it. So anyway, since the Falcons are losing, boo, I decided I'm going to make a video. All right, so first off, I just want to talk about my hair journey, my personal hair journey. Uh, my hair is natural. I have been natural for, it will be two years in February 2013, which I am very proud of. And uh, the reason I decided to go natural was because I, was, I wasn't thinning. I, my hair wasn't breaking. My hair wasn't shedding. It was nothing that was extraordinary for me to just choose to go natural. I went natural because uh, I felt like I was getting my hair done, relaxed, and um, seems like I was getting my hair relaxed probably every three and a half, four months. I don't, I didn't go too much. Maybe every three and a half months, and it seemed like I just looked at my hair, and my texture, and I was like, you know what? I don't really need to do this because I mean, like, even the times when it was in between relaxers, you straighten my hair, my hair's gone with the wind <laughs> my hair was gone with the wind fabulous you know so i felt like if my hair can get this straight and this is post relaxer three and a half four months i wonder how straight it can get without a relaxer at all so i did my research i am a research guru so i did my research i watch video youtube videos all day long not on natural hair. I just watch videos about hair. And this is after I went natural. This is not before I went natural, but after I went natural. Watch the videos. Listen to what other people got to say and what they did for their journey. And I decided that doing this journey just by saying I'm going natural. When I say I'm going natural, for me, for me personally... That means I'm going to let my hair grow out in its natural state. How it grows out my head, that's how I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to put any chemicals on there to straighten it out. Do I straighten my hair? Yes. Do not get that twisted. I do straighten my hair with flat iron. But I don't put keratin in there. I don't do the Dominican blowouts. I try to use the least amount of heat, the least amount of heat as possible that I can use on my hair. And... As you can see, my hair is in curly fro, twist out right now. I mean, it, it's it's curly. Who cares if you can't see it? It's curly. See, this is what I do. I just wake up and I go. You know, I'm not trying to do all the extra and make it all perfect, even though it's a little messy right now. On this side, you kind of see my side part. I don't like that. It's okay. I'm home anyway. Ain't nobody got time for that. So... I mean, through my journey, I have experienced some ups and downs. Like I said, my natural is just no chemicals, you know, no processing in the salon as in keratin or any strong chemicals on my hair. I don't do the blowouts and I don't do relaxers currently. I'm not saying that one day I would never go back to a relaxer, but I'm going I'm to roll with this for a while. I'm trying to give at least five years. That's my goal. Five years. I'm going to roll with it for a while. After that, if I want to change it, then so be it. I'll change it. But um, I've seen a lot of people come and go with this natural thing six, seven months, and they out. It's not for the weak. Believe that. Especially if you're African American. And baby, I am African American. It's not for the weak. It's not for the weak at all. If you can't stand your hair being nappy, growing out its way, curly, kinky, nappy, straight, spongy, spirally, coily, whatever you want to call it. If you can't stand your hair like that, then 
you're going to be tough. And let me tell you, I have honestly had some moments where I was like, oh, I'm so over this. And it, I mean, your hair does not have to be extremely nappy or unmanageable. My hair is very easy to detangle. It's not that hard. It's very easy to detangle. I do it by sections. It's not that difficult. But sometimes you just get tired. And I mean, I, some days I just want to pull my hair in a ponytail. And I cannot do that if my hair is not straight. When my hair is straight, I got to worry about going to the gym. Because if I go to the I can't go to the gym. Because if I go to the gym, I'm sweat. And then if I sweat, I'm going to get this little nasty hair on. Or nasty puss bump thing on top of my head. Because my hair going to start swelling. It's going to look like I got mumps on my head. And I ain't got time for that. So... <laughs> I, I, it's a lot of things I had to consider doing this natural thing. I mean, like I said, when my hair is straight, freshly flat iron, I try to leave my hair flat iron for at least two weeks. That's that's the minimum. Two weeks. I flat iron my hair that one time. I mean, I psh, press it out. I use heat protectant. I use all. I use make sure all the moisturization and everything is covered there. I don't play when I put heat on my hair. I have never had heat damage. I am a witness to that. I put my hand on the laptop <laughs> I am a witness to I have never had heat heat damage and it's a many people I've seen out here have heat damage and everything going on you know whatever your situation is you just got to hold on whether you're black white blue Asian or indigo American Indian Pacific Islander non-hispanic Hispanic Latino let's just go down the ethnicity and race thing whatever you are you got to figure out what works for you I mean, whatever your reason is for going on your healthy hair journey, you don't have to be natural, you don't have to be relaxed, you can be whatever the heck you want to be. Whatever it is, my goal is healthy hair. I love healthy hair. Has my hair been in awful stages? Yes, it has, past times when I was younger. And I know everything to do to get my hair back. So the only reason I've had major breakage was probably when I was in between 12 and 11 and 12 from micros of... That will get all of this gone. All of it. I mean, like, all of that will be gone. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> all of that will be gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, especially for black people. These edges things, these things called edges are not a game. And I don't know why y'all think y'all do. Y'all cannot be laying down. You can't go lay down and you can't put nothing on your hair. It, you know, you can't be worried about what everybody's going to say, especially your man. If your man love you. Hear me on this, black women, whoever you are, <laughs> whatever. You, if your man love you, he going to love you with your hair tied up. Don't be trying to be cute. You're not white. You can't lay down and not put nothing on your hair. You better get a scarf, a bonnet, a uh, silk wrap, something, and put on their hair. Or, or you got to have some uh, uh, the satin pillowcase, honey. You better, you better handle your business. Ain't nobody got time for that because don't no man want a bald head cheek. I mean, shout out to Amber Rose, you know, she do that. But <laughs> everybody can't rock a ball head, and it's not cute on everybody. You you feel what I'm saying? So, whether you have the re your reason for going on this healthy hair journey is you're thinning, balding, uh, losing hair, you're shedding, it's just breaking, heat damage, your hair's not growing, you want longer hair. Um, take your time. Do it the right way. Start with the basics. Are you drinking water? Water, 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 water. I love it. Drink it every day. Drink as much as possible. Don't overdo it, but drink as much as possible. What they say, eight glasses a day, eight ounces? I don't know. Whatever they say. Drink water. Water's good for you. Cut out the sodas. That'll help some. Water and juice. Preferably more so water, less juice. But, you know, we all have our days and things we cheat on. But, um... Oh, my stomach's growling. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the water vitamins vitamins and i'm not just talking hair skin and nail vitamins that's another boo boo that i don't like don't just do it for the hair be in it to win it do your multivitamin if you're going to do your multivitamin do that and if you want to take an additional supplement healthy hair skin and nail vitamins you know omega 369 um biotin you know do it all but do it all in moderation don't go overboard don't over process your body don't over process your hair take your time do it right don't try to do anything dramatic and lo love your hair that's all i got to tell you is love your hair your hair can be bald it could be nappy it could be matted it could be cut off love your hair everybody's hair is not curly 
Everybody's hair is not straight. Everybody's hair has their own texture. But you got to be in love with your hair and know what you're doing to your hair. Don't be afraid to express yourself with your hair. If they don't like it, then they don't like it. It's not for them. It's for you. Especially you women. I, I got to talk to my ladies right now. You got to love your hair. You cannot give up on it. This is forever. You know, you got to take care of it. You got to love it. You got to keep it moisturized. You got to take care of it. You got to wash it. You got to do the best you can. And, you know, throughout everything, you're going to have your stall moments where you're like, what the heck am I doing? My hair is just not the business. It's not listening. Take a moment. Take a breath. Sit back and look and see what you're doing. If you got flat iron, curling iron, wander, um, presser, uh, all that going on, heat damage. You 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 think about what you're doing. You hot water, hot water, washing your hair with warm water. I hope you're not washing your hair with hot water. Hot water, flat iron, curling iron, blow dry, crimper, twirler, wander, whatever you want to call it, straightening comb. You know, that's heat damage. You got to think about what you're doing. You're over-processing it. And make sure you're getting products with protein in it. Protein is key. Protein. Use, if you're going to use your black soap, Talij, Walid, Shea, Moisture, whatever brand you're looking to use. Black soap, a strong thing. Um, Mojo Visions, those type of shampoos and stuff. Those things are going to cleanse the skull. That's what they do. They penetrate deep down. They strip the hair of everything that it has. So you got to go back and follow up with your moisturizing shampoo, whether it's um, what is that thing called, honey? Uh, nature, cream of nature, uh, Ulysses moisturizing, anything that says moisturizing of Dove Daily Moisture. I do love that. That is great for fine, thin hair. I don't know how it works on thicker or medium textures, I don't know, but I think you, you know, maybe you should try it and see what works for you. So, um, you know, take all those things into consideration. Like I said, you know, moisturize, key, and those oils, perfected mega growth. Look at my video about that. That is really good. It gives you moisture. It's giving you your protein all in one step. I'm a one-step girl. I don't like a lot. It's one, two, one, two combo. You know, you list this moisture. You get the moisturizer and you get the conditioner. It will work. It does great. Um, maybe I would do a review. If you like this video and you want to know more about my journey or if you want to ask me questions, feel free. Um, subscribe. Do what you feel you want to do or you need. Leave a comment whether you want to know what I do, how I do it, or if you have any advice. I will gladly accept that, honey. Because we're all in this together, you know. If we don't help each other, then who's going to help us, you know. And then we got to help ourselves, so... I'm here for you guys, and I'm hoping you guys are here for me, and everybody can take this journey together, and we can all show off our healthy hair, you know, whether it's short, long, whatever, you know. I'm not all about the long business. I'm cool with short hair. I like short hair, you know. I've had long hair, and, and you know, I mean, if all those fellas, you know, weave it up. <laughs> That's a billion dollar industry. Somebody buying it. So, but uh, like I said, subscribe, comment, watch my channel, tell your friends about it. You know, ask me questions. Don't be afraid. Say how you feel, and, uh... Y'all have a good Sunday, uh, and Happy New Year! Bye!